the CAT 2022 sample paper is out on the IM CAT website and if you've been watching my last few videos on your attempt strategy for CAT for QA and DILR, I've been advising you about this one button which is like a performance enhancing, a percentile boosting button for you and that works like magic. In this video, I will take you through the actual CAT interface and show you that with one click you can actually change your fortunes in QA and DILR. Hi, I am Darpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and let's get on with the video. Now, if you watched my last few videos on QA and DILR, then you know this. I've been advising that in both the sections, you have to spend the first five minutes in planning now in QA, what you need to plan is that which quant questions would you attempt in the round one, round one of your attempt and then which questions, which quant questions would you attempt in the round two. That is a classic round wise strategy which you can watch in my attempt to for QA, in my attempt strategy for QA video. Whereas in DILR, I had advised you that you have to spend the first five minutes in planning that which of the two sets out of the four sets are your must do sets, must attempt sets, whereas the third set, which is your could do set. All of this you have to plan in the first five minutes of the section. Now, how do you plan this? I had already said to you in the video that a lot of students have been asking me that where exactly is that what I've been advising. I have been advising that you need to view the paper in the question paper format and a lot of you have been asking me where is this question paper format how can we access it so this video will answer it for you and this is the cat interface your exact actual exam day interface which you can find on the IM cat website now this button up here is that magical question paper button which can truly make a great difference to your QA and DILR percentile. Now what happens over here is that as soon as you click this, you will see that you will be able to see the entire question paper or the entire section, whichever section you are on as one scrollable page. So for example, here I am on VARC as of now and you can see that the entire first RC and its adjoining four questions, five questions, six questions are there in front of you. This is what it is. This is the question paper format and this is what is going to really help you get the best from your DILR because what I've advised you is that what you need to do is simply do is that when you are solving a DI set, if suppose you were to check the DI questions from this particular area, then for you to read the questions, for you to first understand which sets to attempt, you'll have to always do save and next, save and next, save and next. My biggest problem with the save and next is that as we do this, this keeps on changing to red, red, red and that also adds to our psychological pressure. So the best way is that not to even see it like that. The quickest way, the speed saving way, if you were to scroll through one question after the other, it will take more time. Therefore, fastest way is read through, read through the entire RC like this or the entire DILR like this and in this way you will be able to quickly understand that okay I will attempt the set number two of DILR uh, set number three of DILR is not something which I am fine with obviously on my screen I am showing you VARC but the same thing you will be able to find in DILR and QA as well apart from that now that we are speaking about the sample paper which has been uploaded allow me to speak to you about three other more interesting features which you need to know so that you can understand and how you can do various things which will help you psychologically now one more thing is that i have advised you is that usually this could be a problem for you to see this pain could be a problem especially when you're trying to focus on a dilr set especially when you're trying to focus on understanding a varc what i usually do is that when i'm attempting something which you know in which i have to read for long in which i have to have my complete focus i usually even collapse this so this is collapsible and now i have a wider area for me to read however again there is one more thing which some of the students might say over here that if we keep it open how it helps is that it collapses the width of the area in which there is the rc or the dilr set and once it collapses the width of it then it is easier to read it 
otherwise if one sentence is from one end of the screen to the other end of the screen it takes forever to go from air to air and then find where is the next line therefore probably this is one feature this collapsible feature is one feature which you should not use in VARC since in VARC ideally the entire text should be as narrow as it can be whereas this probably is a great feature to use in DILR where probably there are a lot of graphs and charts for which you need to give it the space so that you do not have to scroll so much that is one way. Now the third thing apart from the first two the first one was how can you use the QP QP over here and the second was how can you collapse this the third thing which you obviously know but I must remind you you have a calculator up here not a must use thing if you are good with your calculations if you are good with your Vedic math which if somebody has been preparing CAT for about a year you would have I'm sure started off with some amount of calculations and it surely helps so for you if you can calculate it fast enough it will be helpful for you however you must know that whenever you are stuck you also have a calculator and you might be able to find this of help in DILR especially in DI however even in DI it is advisable to use approximations and probably you might not even use it so often but keep in your head that you have a calculator with you as well apart from this the third and the last important thing which I wanted to remind you of is one very crucial thing of mark for review now what happens is that suppose if I'm not able to right now answer this question however if I feel that yes this is something which I can get back to then this is something which I should do now I am on question number four if I press this you will see that question number four has been marked in this shade which means what which means that now in front of my screen I clearly know which questions do I have to come back to usually what students do is that the questions which they need to come to they scribble it on their answer sheets on their answer booklet however that might not be a advisable it might not be a speed efficient way when you can do it like this in front of you on your screen you'll exactly know that yes I have marked some five questions which I need to come to instead of finding that area on your sheet that where had you scribbled those four questions oh my god I can't find it instead of doing all of that because speed is very important now this comes to be very handy now one more thing which you need to know in this is that suppose you've answered it suppose or let me take you through say suppose I, I've answered this now 85 and after answering it 85 if I do this then what you'll see is that apart from that purple shade you also now have a green icon which means that while you have answered it they have saved your answer so that answer will be used for your evaluation but you've still marked it for review which means that you would want to come back to it and recheck your answers so please remember that if you entered the answer for something and if it is showing a green over here then you have submitted your answer for that and that will be used for your evaluation so if that answer is something you're not sure about you might invite a minus one for that so these were some things which are very crucial now one very interesting thing which I saw fresh in this year itself was this drawing pad over here now a lot of you might have seen this this is the first this is the first occasion when I am seeing this and here you can see you can scribble out a lot of things you can change the width of the pen you can change the color I didn't change the color it seems uh, why is it not working for me yeah, I've changed it I can change my width I can erase it so this seems something which they've added or I don't know but this might not be of great use for you so in fact I would say this could be a big distraction for you to not attempt to use this in fact I would give you a very simple advice do not try to use anything which you've not used so often in your mock tests so this is something which I would say will in fact waste your time you have an entire answer sheet you have the you know you have your answer booklet in which you can scribble and use it and hence I would advise you to stick to it not use this now that was about it I had to make this because a lot of you were asking me that where is that question paper icon where from where can we see the question paper I've shown you where you can see it I've explained to you how it can save your time so do keep this in 
your mind definitely use it for qa and dilr and i'm sure it will be of great help to you thanks a lot and goodbye